welcome back to my channel or um, if you're new here generally welcome okay that might be a very strange video of the, the very first one you're watching it's my birthday actually um, hence why I'm wearing that beautiful um, birthday hat and that uh, thing here it, it looks like a princess pony right I'm, I'm, I'm a princess pony now um, no <laughs> This is my birthday, it is actually really today my birthday and I'm hoping to be able to upload it also as well today, probably not, because it's already late in the evening. I had to work today, it's Wednesday, uh, 28th of October and um, yeah, part of the video is already recorded um, because I want to take you with me uh, when I picked up my birthday presents, which I did on Sunday. So. Um, Let's switch to that. Hello everyone. I'm picking up my birthday presents. Stay tuned. Everyone. So um, actually I'm now in the flat of um, the person that um, who's selling uh, all her like a lot of ponies like on eBay Kleinanzeigen and that's what I'm like getting for a birthday this year I'm uh, I collected money from from my from my parents and my, and my sisters and everything and now I'm here and um, look at all those ponies yeah, it's like I can't even say anything this is like what I've selected right now so some of the pony friends the last one missing of the dancing prince ponies two of the rainbow curl ones and some brushes or one brush and two combs but it's like crazy. <laughs> so it's a pretty parlor. Here's so many like ribbons, pony wear. Here are the baby sea ponies. I mean, I can also link her um, uh, her profile um, of eBay Kleinanzeigen. So maybe for all my German followers, that might be interesting. She has lots of stuff like on eBay Kleinanzeigen. So that should be worth checking out for you. Some of the baby um, cribs, but I mean, I mean, that's like it's just like eye candy for me, right? <laughs> here's Fifi. Oh, here's one of the princess brush and grows. More of the dance and prance ones. Look what she has! Like, wow. It's, it's one of, I honestly don't even know the exact name, it's a princess baby something pony that's just like US exclusive. Like it's, it's, it's amazing just to see it, right? Here is the, um, it's this uh, baby, the girl baby of the baby Berrytown family, I think. So they are also amazing. But what I think it's most amazing is that the hair is like, is it horizontally? It's not, not just different strands of different colors but the same hair strands have like three or four different colors so I mean these are obviously more expensive and I have already made my decisions on what I'm getting but like here's one of the pearlized ones baby surprise baby tic-tac-toe some very common ones oh well that's actually not that common although you might think well it's a baby cotton candy right but like look at those eyes can you spot that it's a nirvana pony it's i thought it's maybe greece but she told me it's um argentina no mexico no brazil brazil, brazil it's even brazil they even feel different they even feel different that's that's super interesting i mean it's out of my price range right now but um thank you so much that i'm able to just just have a look at them and here that's also something like amazing that's the the mummy pony mama something i don't even know what the correct name is where she gives birth to baby ponies one of the very late ponies and um as she pointed out to me really the the uh, vinyl is completely different it's very hard like so what else do we have oh here's a perfume puff one they are so crazy. One of the flutter ones. 
Oh, that color combination is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Okay, I, I think I have to make now my decision and pay her the money. So, um, see you probably at home and um, to the whole portion of the video. And see you home. Bye. my um, birthday pony uh, pickup and I just uh, decided to show uh, the ponies to you now um, at least right now here and then my idea is to like directly switch to my actual birthday which will be Wednesday so like in three days or two days depends on and maybe I will have the ponies then already um, like ready styled and everything so I can give you more details and everything. All of the stuff here in my totally matching um, Clone Wars uh, or in general a uh, clone bag. <laughs> so Star Wars bag. Um, so two of the Rainbow Curl ponies. The ones that we're missing. I have the set complete now. Um, the last missing uh, that's a prize pony. Okay. Mm, some smaller things which I won't show you right now because that also goes into my um, December videos. Maybe you can already think of what it might be. <laughs> um, but the two main uh, pickups for me were like these two. I'm getting closer on the pony friends. Now I have already three. We've got Zigzag the Zebra and Spunky the Camel. Okay, I know it's not my birthday yet, today, but I will clean them all. I mean, they're kind of clean, but I will style the hair and see you at my birthday. Here I am again with the magic of uh, filming and YouTubing. Um, Ta-da! There they are. I'm super happy with my like birthday presents that I um, like actually that I actually decided on my own what to get but it's still like because my my family they are not really into like knowing what I like or researching on their own what what ponies are missing or something like that they would never like really do that and that's totally okay because I can like search on my own what I want to have uh, for birthday um, but here they are uh, let's just um, show you one by one, which um, were the ponies that I decided, let's put them aside, because this one is Tap Dancer. Tap Dancer is one of the Dance and Prance ponies, so you would like well, use this like wheel in the front and then the tail would spin and if it would be spinning a little bit more enthusiastic then it would also dance around and most of the ponies um, are not that enthusiastic in, in, in the spinning mood anymore but um, with this little girl um, I'm like I completed the uh, Dance and Friends pony set maybe I take them out all for you uh, the Dance and Friends ponies like can you can you see them yeah right 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 there and I have uh, some doubles but anyways let's let's put out all the doubles with the Dance and Friends pony set um, they came out in 19 um, 88, so exactly my birth year. It's year, year 7 of the Generation 1 pony line. Um, and in German, they were called uh, disco ponies. Uh, each of them has like a symbol of like um, a music theme. So either like headphones or a radio or like um, vinyl or a guitar, stuff like that. Cat Dancer has um, it's not really music theme, but but it's a, a, a hat and a, what's it called, a cane uh, for people who would uh, be tap dancing and you're dancing to music, so... Oh, more. 
This is a very common pony set, I have to say, because I found some of them out in the wild, I have to say, uh, at a convention, at a flea market, at a thrift store, um, at a flea market, yeah, the rest not. Um, some of them are also in my other videos, which I am kind of late, like on, on editing all the other stuff, so here we have a preview. <laughs> And you will see when I get them uh, at this one. But anyways, um, here they are. I have a Twirler as a double and I have DJ as a double. Who cares? Right now I'm super happy. They look so nice and I really like that they have all kind of the same pose. Um, yeah, I styled the hair a little bit nice with a tap dancer. It was really fizzy at the end. Um, the rest is like... It, they have they have kind of short hair in general, so no problem on that. So tap dancer. Then I picked up two of the rainbow curl ponies. This is actually stripes, and this is rain curl. The uh, set of the rainbow ponies was released like one year later, so year eight, which means 1989 to 1990. Um, and I'm not exactly sure if I had one of those as a child uh, when I showed it to my mom because I showed them to my mom because uh, and to my parents because you know they paid for them so they also wanted to know what my birthday presents are um, and she was like when she hold um, she was holding stripes she was like hmm, that looks familiar wasn't that one that you had as a child and I was like oh, I can't even remember actually maybe I did um, it's not one that I have like a very vivid memory, but I was like, when I noticed this pony set, I was like, could be. Um, because also this pony set now, I have finally completed. Let's take out the other two, because it's actually just a set of um, four ponies. <laughs> and especially... Um, my ringlet is not in a very good condition concerning the hair because it's super short. I got her like super super cheap way back like I don't know three or four years ago or something. Mm. Maybe I can rehair uh, this little girl and uh, she st still she still has really really nice um, curls that's um, uh, streaky. So and I of course did the hair these little girls because when you saw them they were not looking so nice and I also filmed the video how I did these curls so you can expect a video <laughs> uh, because I had several people already asking me like uh, especially on Instagram if I could show uh, how I do these curls and it's actually uh, I'm pretty sure like uh, so many people are very good at curling ponies hair or styling it so it's not something that especially I can do but as I just had these and they are perfect for uh, doing curls I just figured oh, I'm just gonna film a video about this so that's coming so these girls I have to say they they still smell um, different than, than the other ponies I don't know, um, the girl, the woman uh, where I bought them, she maybe had some special uh, things that she cleaned them um, with, for example, special um, uh, fabric softener or something. They, they smell, they still smell really good, uh, whereas like, this doesn't smell like anything. <laughs> and they were not scented, so this was not a, not, a, not a set of scented ponies, so that must be something that the previous owner did with them, which is nice nice to, to have good smelling ponies, right? So, yeah. And now let's get to the two ponies that I actually, um, um, yeah, that was the main reason to go to her and to purchase the ponies from her, uh, because I saw that she had these guys online. Um, and these are two of the pony friends, which are actually like my, I can't say my favorite because I have so many favorites, but Pony Friends are like one of my favorite sets and they are kind of hard to get over here because I am pretty sure they were not released in Germany. 
maybe in other parts of Europe, but also I'm not exactly sure. Um, they are from the first set. So the first set was, was released in year five of My Little Pony one um, uh, generation, uh, which means 1986 to 1987. And uh, then the next year um, there was another set released. Um, which included also two of the ponies from the first set, but not these two. So these two are just, um, uh, let's say, limited to the first set. This is the camel and it's called Spunky. This one I curled the hair and you will see that in that video. So this is another curling technique that I used. They are, they are so special because they have this total, like, obvious Generation 1 My Little Pony look, but there are no ponies, so that's like, I know that, that a lot of people really like them. This guy has a haircut. Zigzag, a zebra, and it's, it's, it's so chubby and small, it's so cute, but it has a very short haircut, which for now I'm okay with because it, 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 looks, it looks okay for a zebra, right? So why not? But whenever I get my hands on this color, this exact color, I might just have a look online and then I will also rehair it because it didn't come with like this short of hair. So, so now I have three of um, the Pony Friends. Um, my third one is Creamsicle, which was my first uh, of those, which I was really lucky winning, winning an auction at the beginning of the year. Oh, they are so... They are so damn cute. And I actually have two of the um, um, smaller pony friends which came with the baby pony, so baby pony and pretty, pretty pal. And but they actually don't belong into directly that set of ponies. Oh, what, what do you say? I really like them. So happy birthday to me. That's, that's such a nice present. <laughs> and it smells so good. Like okay, but there's more. I don't know, I'm not exactly sure, but I received this box today and I haven't ordered anything, but I'm pretty sure I know what's in here, but not, not exactly sure. So like, 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 let's have a look. And this was actually not really meant as a birthday present, but it totally like matched like with the, with the time. Um, and ooh, it's, it's even tied with a, with a string, so that looks even kind of sophisticated or something. It's filled up to the brim. And you see, this one I haven't pre-opened, as what I'm doing often in my other videos, already pre-opening stuff. This is really, have never had a look in it. So maybe it might be something completely different, uh, but who knows? But it is what I was thinking. I can, uh, can you see? So maybe I tell you uh, the story first that, um, whoops, someone reached out to me uh, just in the comments of my videos. I don't know if I should, should, should say your name, you're um, Thomas, I think. <laughs> and um, he was like, oh, I used to collect uh, My Little Ponies and all, a lot of other toys and I really like your videos. I'm downsizing and I want to uh, get rid of my Generation 3 ponies. Would you be interested in them? Otherwise he would have given them to... Um, oh my goodness, it's so many. It's, oh my goodness. It's all Generation 3 ponies. He would have gifted it to a charity shop or he, he said he, he would like them to see in my collection so that um, he knows where they are and um, maybe he sees them in some of my videos, which if he's watching this one, he does. Oh. I'm always saying I'm not really collecting Generation 3 ponies, but Ooh, this one looks interesting. It just has one colorful leg and no cutie mark. I don't know what's about this. Um, I'm. This one doesn't have a cutie mark like at all. Did someone like? Like that's interesting. 
interesting. Um, and I'm not good with uh, Generation 3 pony names. As I say, I'm always I'm not really collecting them, but I'm, but I'm kind of are. Like they are over here, um, over here, and then in this uh, compartment down there. And I might just get a little bit of a space problem, but um, no, I'm totally working on that. I'm already thinking about new, sol new solutions where to put them, and I will try my best to tell you what the, what the names are. I have my computer with me, and I'm just trying then to research what they are on the, oops, on the go. Many, but how many are they? One, two, three, four. So cute. and when I want to know what they are um, called I'm trying to um, get my like research like do my research on the website called strawberry reef there you can search pony by color and that's like the easiest you have all of them like just picture 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 and then that that's the easiest how to find out the names it doesn't give much information most often but then when you have the name you can search on my little wiki for it that's easier let's start with this one that's probably blue Is it? Ah, yeah, it is dream blue, and the hair used to be pink, so that's interesting. I didn't know that, um, like Generation 3 pony hair is also fading, um, they also use the fading pink. So, dream blue, it has this like really dreamy, um, cutie mark with star and moon and the night sky. And maybe I can repink the hair because I recently found out how to do that. Yeah, I know that. I don't have to research that because whenever it's like with these um, like swirls, swirl patterns, it's like a Jula ruler, I know that. Okay, she's got a, she's got a hat, a top hat with some flowers um, on there. So she seems to be like Oh yeah, and, and a wand, like a magic theme's going on. So that's definitely a pink one. She is. Oh, there are also different versions of her. So she is Magic Marigold. Which variant is she? Oh, she always came with the, in the same variation, and uh, the same pose, I mean. Doesn't matter, her name is Magic Marigold. Magic Marigold. Her hair is such a nice color, isn't it? So these are for sure the Generation 3 versions of Fluttershy. I'm pretty sure this one also just has bleached hair. But let's just show it to you up close. Thing she has in common with the Generation 4 Fluttershy is actually that she has a butterfly as a beauty mark, so the rest is like completely different. So uh, no, nothing, nothing reminds me and otherwise of the Gen 4 Fluttershy. Okay, this is pink as well, right? So then we can stick with the pink here. 
what does she have as a key? Aha, I found it. It's right, right, right up there. These are actually like bows or, or ribbons. Uh, maybe she's got something with ribbon or something. No, amber locks. That's amber locks. Oh, there's a little bit more info on her. Uh -huh. She came in, she, she was released in 2003 with the Celebration Salon. So, with a huge playset. Hmm. Makes sense with a salon, like where you can style hair and stuff like that. So, because it looks like there's hair, curls of hair, and then these, these ribbons here. So, the name, um, so the name. Amber locks totally makes sense. Amber, not exactly, but her hair is a little bit of amber. A little bit. I think she's, um, color-wise, she's my favorite from, from this whole lot. Ah, okay, she looks like a sweetie belle, but I don't think that she is. Let's research her, because the color combination like of white and then this hot pink and um, dark purple hair looks like a sweetie belle, but probably she is not white ponies. Yeah, here they are white ponies. What are you? Her cutie mark is like so, so cute. I mean, at first it sparkles, that's, that's nice. It has like a sparkly overlay. And then I think it's a lollipop. Try to think of the name and then it's totally something else. Like probably doesn't have anything to do with lollipops. She's probably called... Um, Bring goldie time or something, I don't know. <laughs> um, Ooh, that took a long time, so I could now finally find out that this one is called Sweet Sparkle. So, totally makes sense, it also sparkles here. Ah, oh, this one is in the, I don't even know, is it the donkey pose? Um, it is a purple one with um, tulips. It must be tulips. Oh, okay. This is actually called Visteria and it's from 2007 and it seems to be an, an international exclusive, so probably was not available in the US. Visteria. I knew it. She has to do something with this pony because she's also called Wisteria. This is Generation 4 pony Wisteria. She was a, I don't know, Target exclusive or something like that. And um, two completely sparkling um, Generation 4 ponies. I think there was just one other, which was a Pinkie Pie that's completely sparkly. And uh, she has the same tulips. So that's where she got the name from, Wisteria. Ah! I know, probably there uh, has been different Wisterias. Yeah, but Wisteria has been released in different versions. International single 2007 with Zipsy. She was released with Zipsy. I have Zipsy. Because this is Zipsy. Uh, interesting. Because Wisteria then again had different. Um, Poses. So let's click on that if that's really the Zipsy. Yeah! So she came together in a set with this one. So that's, that's cool! So this is a Generation 3 Breezy and apparently they came together in a set uh, in 2007. Wow, and, and that's one of the most interesting ponies right now here for me right now. I mean, interesting in terms of if there is some connection to other things that I have. What is she? She has got cupcakes and really nice blonde hair. Like a pony that is like mm, a pink body with uh, blonde hair is like really, 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 I love that aesthetic. Anyways, uh, what, what's, what's she called? Yeah, here she is. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's obvious. Cupcake! Her name is Cupcake. Cupcakes, 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 cupcakes! Okay, 
Okay, that was Pinkie Pie speaking out of me. So. <laughs> wow, this is an Easter pony. And her hair is like, oh wow, candy colors. Mm, okay, a blue pony. What are you called? Morning Dawn Delight. My goodness, these uh, gen Generation 3 names are like over the top. Morning Dawn Delight. She was released in uh, when exactly? I don't know. Doesn't say anything. Probably around Easter time. Morning Dawn Delight. Morning Dawn? Morning and Dawn both together? Okay. Here we've got an orange pony. What? Oh, she has got like fireworks. What are you called, little girl? What are you called? Orange. Oh, there she is. Sparkleworks. Sparkleworks, the third incarnation. Oh, I can click on it. Um, 2004. Dress up evening wear. Or in a four pack. Yeah. Sparkleworks. Uh, third incarnation of no, the other way around. I'm always mixing up that uh, generation three ponies They just have cutie marks on one side not not on the other um, Sparkleworks 2004 in the evening gown no evening Dress up evening wear set You've got a yellow one. Oh, that's cute Got some. It reminds me of springtime, so it got like a, a watering can. There was a called watering can flower, and, and you really have to go to the garden and plant your flowers, something like that. So she's yellow. I love yellow ponies. Some of my favorites are yellow. Again, the donkey pose. That's one of the only Generation Three poses I know. That's so. <laughs> my Generation Three knowledge is so limited. Heck, um, is that her? Flower Wishes. Flower Wishes? The name reminds me of something. Flower Wishes? Flower Wishes? Isn't there also a Generation 3 pony? A 4 pony? I don't know. Um, oh, my, oh, 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 she came with bunny ears. Easter. She's an Easter thing? Okay. She was uh, released in an Easter set, so I actually, not, not set, just around Easter time probably, that's, that's what her set or her is called, Easter. Probably this one too, right? And she actually came with um, Easter bunny ears, like bunny ears, um, uh, textile ones and like something like a clip or something that she could put on here so that she would look like an Easter bunny. So, but I was kind of right. She reminded me of spring and Easter is in spring, so, right? So then we've got this one, which is like super strange to me because I think someone has removed the cutie mark. Can you, can you see that? It still has a little bit of a darker uh, tone here. But why would you do that? Like why? I mean, unless you, you wanted to um, do a custom out of it. Let's try what, what this is. Favorite friend, Sunny Days. That's her. 2007 Beach Berry Pose. Yeah, her, her cutie mark was actually like a sun. It was on that side. It was a sun and um, some like... Yeah, yeah I, think it, I think it's clouds around it. Sunny Days, why don't you have your cutie mark? Anyways, she's still cute. And she's in really good condition otherwise, so that's that's what's interesting about it to me. Like why? Why? And this one as well, it doesn't have a cutie mark. Someone removed it completely. Like can you see? You can definitely see that someone removed the part up until here. I mean, generally this looks like a rainbow dash, so I'm pretty sure it must be some kind of rainbow dash. Let's try to find out. Um, blue ponies. 
Rainbow Dash. Yeah, here. The third variation, Rainbow Dash. Um, also the Favorite Friends single. So they were both from this, this Favorite Friends set. And it has this like gradient um, lag. And then here would be the cutie mark, like typical Rainbow Dash, Generation 3 Rainbow Dash has um, just like a rainbow with uh, clouds at each side. So why don't you have your cutie mark? Really, that's strange. Who knows? And here's the last one. <laughs> she has got so much glitter. Cutie mark, she, you can't even like really see it. It's an umbrella or a parasol, but more like an umbrella, more likely. What are you? So you are purple. And oh, okay, pretty parasol. So it's more like a parasol, it's not an umbrella. I was kind of wrong, but anyways, it's a no, it's a parasol, and she's called pretty parasol. So there we go. I already forgot all the names. <laughs> um, oh, that took a long time. So I could not find favorite of all of these. It was Morning Dawn Delight. And this is Wisteria. Mm -hmm. And this is, um, I don't know, something with sparkle? Sparkle magic or something? Thank you, seriously, thank you so much, Thomas. That's so generous, like uh, kind of an, a gift to, to me and to my channel. So like a little bit of a donation to the channel. Oh my goodness, I have so many ponies here, I can't even um, um, hold them to, to put them in frame all. <gasps> no! But it's my birthday and uh, I'm allowed to have many ponies in here, right? So, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I, you probably, uh, I probably will have uploaded this video then and then it will be the next day. So. Thank you so much for watching, have a nice day, I'll see you real soon and may the force be with you, bye!